tonight on Haunted Homes, we visit a house in Colville, whose owners believe they're haunted by a young spirit. I feel as if somebody's lying next to me. I was totally freaked out by it. My heart was racing really fast and I thought I was going to pass out. We'll send in the Haunted Homes expert team, paranormal investigator Andy Matthews, Professor of Psychology, Chris French, and Psychic, Mia Dolan. I feel fear. That's not a good sign. Their mission is to uncover the mysterious disturbances. If Mia finds a ghost, she'll expel it from the house in a clearing ceremony. What is lurking in their house? <gasps> oh my God. Get us out, get us out, get us out. Hold on, hold on. Twenty-four percent of Britons claim that if a ghost was haunting their home, they'd hire an exorcist to get rid of it. Tonight on Haunted Homes, we investigate a house in Colville, where the family are so frightened, they refuse to sleep alone at night. The first member of the Haunted Homes team we'll send in to investigate is Mia Dolan, one of Britain's leading psychics. A psychic just means that I cover different areas in the paranormal. People think psychics are rare, and there aren't many of us, but they're not. You know, everybody is psychic to a certain level. Everybody at some point in their life uses their intuition, their gut instinct. You know, it's the same thing. It's your psychic, it's your sixth sense. We're coming into an age when people know that there is more. They're not sure what it is, they're not sure how to see it, but everybody knows that there is more. And the longer that goes on, each individual will start their own psychic development. Tonight's home for investigation is in Colville, Leicestershire. Eight years ago, 18-year-old Keeley and 19-year-old Vicky moved into a house on Burgess Road, along with their mother and younger sister Alice. The girls are adamant their home is haunted and are terrified to spend a night alone in their bedroom. I share the room with my sister, my middle sister, and none of us like to be in the room on our own. It's like, if she stays out at night, I won't sleep in there, I'll sleep in my other sister's room, just to get away from it. Like, if there's more people in here, then it's fine. But if you're in here on your own, then it's a bit like, I don't actually want to stay in here. The reason we want to get this sorted is because in a few weeks I'm going to university and she needs to sleep in there on her own, otherwise she'll never sleep. <laughs> I don't want her to go, because I won't sleep in this room on my own. From the very beginning, something didn't feel quite right in the girls' bedroom. It seems to be where most of the activity happens. When you actually walk in the girls' bedroom, it's not got a nice... I don't feel as though it's got a nice feel to it at all. But what was it that was making everyone feel so uncomfortable in there? When I'm um, in bed at night, I feel as if somebody's lying next to me. The quilt seems really heavy and cooler on the side where it feels heavy. It's as if somebody's lying there, but there's nobody there. But Vicky wasn't the only one experiencing paranormal activity in the bedroom. I was asleep and I just like woke up. And I looked up at the wardrobe and I saw like this figure of a girl, just a little girl. And she was just stood there like with a big grin on her face, waving at me. She was dressed in like old styled Victorian clothes. Like I can still remember it vividly. And it wasn't just the girls' bedroom where these strange events were taking place. My sister had gone out. I was in my room and my mum came in because it had frightened her the noise of the bath running. I was actually asleep and all of a sudden I woke with a stark or tear like running water. Somehow the plug had found its way into the plug hole and both taps had turned themselves on so that the water was flowing freely into the tub. 
I went in the bathroom and there it was, just filling up. It was definitely like filling up on its own. As well as running water, the girls have also complained of other strange noises coming from upstairs. When we're usually sitting in the living room downstairs, we'll hear like a ball being bounced upstairs. And we hear a skipping rope sort of banging on the floor, but the footsteps as well as if somebody's jumping around the rope. It starts off quite, you just think, what's that noise like? What's as if like a house noise? But then it gets louder and it's really distinctive. On top of this, the family have also been experiencing electrical problems throughout their home. Things have been blowing up ever since we moved in, which is eight years ago. Our hair straighteners, they actually sparked up and that was quite scary. And we've had about three pairs of them now. We have steamers and iron and the kettle. Everything just blows up in them. It just gets ridiculous. Everything I buy blows up. I hope that it can be all sorted so that when Vicky goes to uni, I'm not actually a big wuss to stay in my own bedroom. Don't have to go and sleep with my mum. <laughs> I hope that it's not just us going mad, that there is something here and that we can get rid of it so that Keely can sleep on her own. We gave the girls a video camera to see if they could get evidence of their claims. They attempted to spend a night alone in the house in the dark. Just entered our bedroom now and we're going to switch the light off. <laughs> Strange noises come from this room. This is the room where we feel most uncomfortable, isn't it? Yeah. Vicky suddenly gets a sense of something in the room. Feeling really uneasy in here. I hate it. <laughs> With their sense of unease increasing, they're unable to stay in the bedroom any longer. Where are you? Where I are hate you? it on here. I hate it up here. Despite their fears, the girls attempt to film on the landing. I think we'll sit with our backs to this door. <laughs> I... That was scared, it scared me. What did? Just heard a noise. Being alone in the house is now beginning to take its toll on the girls. Terrified, they're paralysed with fear and unable to move from the landing. I hate it in here. This is horrible, Kate. This is horrible. I hate it. Keely is convinced that she has seen the spirit of a young girl in her bedroom. She's desperate to be rid of this phantom child. She claims the ghost smiled and waved at her. It was a disturbing experience, and she's seeking an explanation. The Coles feel that they are sharing their home with a supernatural presence. I think the presence that's here would probably be a small girl. I don't think that it would be an adult skipping with a skipping rope or bouncing a ball. The girls believe their room is the most haunted. It's always been like an odd room to be in. It's too scary to stay on your own in here. The reason we want to get this sorted is because in a few weeks I'm going to university and she needs to sleep in there on her own otherwise she'll never sleep. <laughs> In an attempt to prove they share their home with something